We the people begins the backbone of our country's laws, you mean at the beginning of the U.S. Constitution, but the wording that follows actually may be changed. And krk Force Jesse Denor joins us live from the state capitol to tell us why Arkansas is joining a movement multiple states have already pushed through their legislatures. Jesse? Yeah, Ashley and Bob, the U.S. Constitution doesn't officially recognize women, but Arkansas has a chance to make history by making that change. Congress passed the Equal Rights Amendment back in 1972 after women's rights activists fought for decades to include it. It seeks to establish an explicit guarantee of equal rights for all Americans, regardless of sex. 35 states ratified it shortly after, and two more recently brought the total to 37. It needs just one more state to join the push to amend the Constitution. And Arkansas Arkansas State Senator filed a resolution today to do just that. And people used to say, well, if we do this, we're going to get into a lot of other issues, social issues like LGBTQ rights, and that has passed us by. I don't know what the, I don't know what the issues are now. This is the third time Senator Elliott has filed this resolution and is yet to find a Republican sponsor this time around. Still, Elliott does plan to run the resolution on Thursday, and she encourages women and men, for that matter, to show up here at the state capitol wearing white. Live at the state capitol, I'm Jesse Tenor. All right, Jess, thanks very much.